Hello, who is excited to learn more about the next grab and go bag for kindergarten UC third graders? I am. I am very excited about this week's project. The project for you guys this week is an I Spy picture book. You get to create your very own. And to inspire you, I brought along some search and find books that we have here in the library. This one is about oceans. So this book has flaps in it. You can see how busy the page is and you have to try and find all sorts of different animals that live on the North and the South Poles. This one's not necessarily an I Spy book. It's an ABC book, but it's really cool and shows lots of different objects and items that you can find in nature. So another idea is you can make your I Spy book alphabetical. So here we see bark, and bones, and this flower called the bougainvillea, and bodhi seeds, C is for creosote, and coral, and crystal, and clay. So that's another idea. This is an animal camouflage search and find. And just by looking at the cover, can you see any animals that are drawn into the leaves and the water? Can you see the tiger and the whale? Yeah, so sometimes I spy books, the animals aren't a picture, but they're pictures drawn within another picture. Pretty cool, huh? Of course, there's Where's Waldo. I'm sure you're familiar with Where's Waldo. And there's lots of different character search and finds. This one is a Disney fairy book. We also have Pokemon and Star Wars. And then there's the I Spy books by Walter Wick. And these books, if you're not familiar, I'll open them up. He sometimes creates landscapes and scenes, and within that landscape or within that scene, you have to try and find different objects. So, for example, on this page, I spy a seahorse, a thumbtack, a cone, scissors, a dolphin, a spoon, telephone, a penny, a dog, and a rolling pin, a hanger, a hatchet, and a duck pond in. You have to try and find all those different objects on this page. And I spy often rhyme as well. So let's see what is in your bag to help you create your own I spy book. Everybody's going to get a couple pieces of large paper. And you can use this paper to create whatever type of book you'd like. You can keep them big and fold them, or you can cut them up and staple them, or tape them together. You're also gonna come with different handouts, some other activities and coloring sheets. There's a Lego challenge calendar in here. And you're also going to get a piece of yarn. This yarn is for you to help tie your book together, or if you would rather put your book together in a different way, you could use your yarn as part of the I Spy book. You could glue or tape it on. And of course, a whole bunch of stickers for you to stick in your I Spy book. So in addition to the stickers that we're providing for you, you can draw pictures, you can use stickers that you have at home. If your family has old newspapers or magazines or greeting cards, ask an adult if you can cut them up and glue them into your iSpy book. I hope I get a chance to see some of what your iSpy books turn out like, and I hope you enjoy this next grab-and-go bag. 
If you have any questions or if you would like to request any search and find books, definitely reach out to us and we can help you out with that. Thank you.